All right, welcome back. We've got this month's Mystery Tackle Box Pro. Uh, it's October 2016. Uh, if you're not familiar with Mystery Tackle Box, it is a subscription-based service. Uh, you send them 15 bucks a month, and they'll send you a box of tackle worth something more than that. This is the Pro Box, which is about a $10 upgrade uh, over the over the basic MTB. Let's go ahead and get in here and see what we got. All right, first thing up, we got our What's in the Box card. Uh, there's a more detailed version. Uh, of this, including some reviews and places to buy the, the various baits. Uh, there's a link at the bottom of the card. So, uh, but right here we basically just got the uh, the name of the bait, who made it, and then the uh, and the price. So first thing up from Reaction Strike, we get the XRM80, and it's a little jerk bait. So 80 centimeters, uh, just over three inches long, and this is uh, kind of a yellow with a holographic finish down the sides, and then uh, purple on the back. So for muddy water, definitely great. Uh, as it starts getting more into fall and it starts getting colder, and the uh, the bait fish start dying off with the lake turnover, um, jerk baits really start to shine. So we're really coming into jerk bait weather here, um, and then through the winter as well. So good rattles. Nice sticky shark hooks, if I remember correctly. Uh, they use Kitana hooks. Ow. And uh, says it suspends 3.2 inches, uh, 0.65 ounces. Actually, it doesn't feel nearly that heavy, but okay. Um, let's put this puts this at over. Uh, yep, Kitana hooks. Dives two to four feet. I guess it puts it at over five eighths of an ounce, uh, but it really it really doesn't feel that heavy. Um, but that is the XRM80 from Reaction Strike. All right, next up, we've got the Balsa B from Bagley. So the Balsa B2, it's a square bill. And actually, this is bordering on a wake bait. So dive zero to three feet, 7 sixteenths of an ounce, another nice heavy bait. Should be able to check this thing a mile. Um, Again, nice bright colors. So the problem I'm going to run into with these nice bright colors is I fish really, really clear water. And uh, I call this color parrot, I believe. But uh, squared off bill, nice shallow running crankbait. Uh, big round profile, show a nice wide wobble to it. Look, look be pretty good hooks. And silent. So it's a says the balsa B, which or balsa B2. So balsa bait, solid balsa. A nice thing about balsa is it's a real high floater. Uh, good around wood. Uh, problem you're into is uh, they're not the most durable baits. So if you start banging these things off rocks, uh, they will start to you'll start to split the bait. Um, so you gotta be they're a little more fragile than your normal plastic baits. But uh, great around brush because they're so buoyant. And you bang it into something, pause for a second, and it floats up and away. Um, but that is the Balsa B2 from Bagley. And next up we have the King Snake from Venom Lures. This is just a nice big, about a 10 inch, uh, curl single curl tail. A curl tail worm. These look like they're in a uh, blue shad color. So uh, this actually should be a fairly decent color in the, in the clear water I fish. Yep, black and blue shad. And uh, now fortified with grab. 100% pure fish oil base. World's number one attractants. Um, they smell, they actually smell like old soft plastics, so, um, okay. That is the King Snake from Venom Lures. This is a six pack, six pack. Right, next up with the Z-Man Original Chatterbait. Another one of these dirty water colors. It's actually kind of a cool color. 
uh, black on the bottom, a little bit of a uh, yellow yellow top to it, or a uh, like a light green pumpkin, and then some kind of copper copper flake down the sides. Um, so what they call this color, Bayou Craw. Uh, but again, dark colors, kind of a dirty water color, and uh, you know, it's typical with the original original Chatterbaits. Comes with the an Elastec trailer, so uh, these trailers are bordering on indestructible. Um, but it's just a real basic split tail trailer, and uh, it's got a nice aggressive keeper for the Elastec here. And that is the original Chatterbait from Z-Man. Next up with the Haas 4-inch from Whiskey River. And it's basically uh, just a little 4-inch stick, stick bait. It's in uh, Green Pumpkin. Um, what I notice about this compared to like a Senko is this thing tapers off on the thin end a lot more than most stick baits do. So it's got a very pronounced fat end and a very pronounced skinny end. And it actually is really, for as small as it is, really fat in the middle. A uh, ton of salt on these things. And, uh, and this thing's really small, but it's really, really heavy. So really dense. And that is the Haas 4 inch by Whiskey River. Right, next up, we got the KG Hookworm. Uh, our KG Hook Worm 17 from Decoy Hooks. Um, I've used Decoy Hooks before. They make a couple specialty hooks that are really sweet. Uh, really, really deep belly hooks for some heavy body baits. Uh, but this is just a fairly, fairly basic extra wide gap. Uh, i got a nice hard bend here, which I like. Um, that nice hard bend is really good for keeping the plastics in place. And i uh, got a lot of throat to it. So... is the KG Hook Worm 17. These are Japanese made in the seven pack. All right, the last thing we got is Bass Attractant from Bass Dynasty. Actually, not somebody I'm familiar with. But just a little bottle of uh, scent. So, cool. Uh, we got seven Seven different things in the box this month, and uh, overall interesting box. Got a jerk bait, got a crank bait, got two soft plastics, got some hooks to use with the soft plastics, got a chatter bait. So um, should be able to get out of the lake, planning to go fishing uh, Saturday night, Sunday, and uh, we'll see what we can do with uh, with these baits. Try and try and get our slam done. So um, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share. Share the video with your friends. Uh, I do multiple unboxings uh, from several different subscriptions each month. And, uh, you know, kind of a try before you buy. If you want to see what's in the box, uh, you can check out my past videos and get a pretty good idea uh, of what you get in, uh, in each box from different companies. So, anyway, till next time, cheers and tight lines.